On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2021 Trek Marlin 7. We're going to go into some of the features and designs of this 2021 Trek Marlin 7. We'll go over its new part spec, as well as talk a bit about the geometry and how this compares to the Excalibur series as well. So if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, as well as let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as we go through this bike. So checking out the Trek Marlin 7, this is a very popular bike in Trek's lineup. The Marlin series is their least expensive aluminum mountain bike, and it makes for an awesome entry point for somebody getting into riding or somebody who wants a more rugged bike to do things like what you might otherwise purchase their dual sport hybrid for. This bike combines some XC style geometry a nice upright position so it's comfortable to ride, and then the ability to run things like racks and kickstands so it allows the bike to be a whole heck of a lot more than just a standard mountain bike. Now talking about that, this is running what Trek calls their Alpha Silver Aluminum. So this is gonna be a shaped aluminum frame. It's a bit more basic than what you would get in the Excalibur series, but the Alpha Silver Aluminum allows the price to come in just a little bit lower. It will still have nice features like a threaded bottom bracket, nice integrated headset on an inch and an eighth head tube, and on sizes small and extra small, it's gonna have this sort of bent swoop to the top tube. And what that is, is that's gonna allow for a little more clearance on a shorter rider getting onto this bike. So the size extra small and small, get that curved top tube and the size medium and larger get the traditional straight top tube. Now for geometry, let's talk about a size medium as that's right in the middle of the range. So size medium is gonna come with a head tube angle of 69 and a half degrees, a seat tube angle of 71.9 degrees, and then it's gonna have a chain stay length of 438 millimeters. And that's pretty standard for a basic beginner mountain bike. Now the interesting thing to talk about is in that size medium, the stack and reach is gonna put you in a much more comfortable position, which makes this a good entry point into mountain biking. A medium will have a reach of 418 millimeters and then a stack of 602. And that gives you that upright position. The Marlin series also is set up with 100 millimeters of front suspension. And the suspension on this bike is running a RockShox Judy fork. This Judy fork is gonna have a turnkey lockout, so you can adjust this open to close, so when you're on a fire road or pavement, you can make the front end locked out. And then it's gonna also have a preload adjust on a coil spring. This is a place where, spec-wise, the Marlin 7 is gonna look Pretty similar to the Excalibur 7, but on the Marlin you're getting a more basic coil spring fork and on that Excalibur series you're getting the air fork that you can adjust your weight. For a drivetrain, this is running a Shimano 1x10 drivetrain. So you've got the Shimano Deor M5120 long cage rear derailleur and that's going to a 11 to 46 tooth 4100 cassette. Going through this KMC chain to a FSA Alpha Drive crank set. The Alpha Drive crank set is gonna run a 28 tooth chain ring and on sizes small and medium, this is gonna have a 170 millimeter crank arm and medium large to double extra large, you'll get a 175 millimeter crank arm. Of course, that means our cockpit is set up nice and clean running this Shimano Deor M4100 10 speed shifter. This is gonna have both a thumb button to go to an easier gear, as well as an index finger button to go to a harder gear. And to slow the bike down, you're gonna get the Shimano MT200 brakes. This is a hydraulic two piston caliper brake. It's very good quality and these are super durable. And it's gonna have the long reach lever so that way you can get more of your hand on it. And you're gonna be running a 160 millimeter rotor in the front and in the rear. Cockpit wise, we've got Bontrager's 31.8 approved handlebar and then a 31.8 blender stem. Blender stem is pretty neat because you can get adapters for it to run 
all sorts of things like a cell phone mount, a light, stuff like that to be able to run more on your handlebar and keep everything clean. Going to the back, you've got the Bontrager Arvada saddle. This is going to be a fairly comfortable saddle mounted up on a 31.6 Bontrager aluminum seat post that comes with a quick release to be able to adjust the height. Going into the wheels, this is where we should talk about one more difference between the extra small and small and the medium and larger. Not only do you get the curved top tube, but you also get smaller wheels. So Trek runs what they call their smart wheel size. And the smart wheel size does a 27 and a half inch wheel on sizes small and extra small, and then a 29er on sizes medium and larger. So that means this bike is getting the XR Comp tires in a 27.5 by 2.2, and then it's gonna be running on some Bontrager connection aluminum wheels, which should make for a pretty decent setup, but that might be a place as you get more aggressive in riding that you may wanna upgrade. So now that we've taken a look at the features and the designs of this Trek Marlin 7, let's go ahead and find out what this bike weighs. The actual weight, of this Trek Marlin 7 in a size small comes in at 29.01 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Trek Marlin 7. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to leave a thumbs up. It lets me know you enjoyed the video, as well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this in the future.